All right, being joined now by freshman safety Khalil Barnes. Khalil, your first bowl experience here at Clemson. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been a good week. It's obviously like longer. We had uh, seven practices in Clemson. So being able to study your opponent, but also uh, have more free time to spend with the coaches and your teammates and get away from football a little bit, it's been good. I've enjoyed it so far. Speaking of your opponent, as you prepared, kind of what have you seen from Kentucky and what are you looking forward to from them on Friday? Uh, they can do a lot of things. Obviously, their running back's real good. He came back to uh, play us. Real good guy. They got a really good offensive line, so we worry about that run game. Got to stop it. But also, they got guys out wide, like number seven. I don't, I don't think number nine is playing, but number six. All the guys out wide are really good uh, weapons. Obviously, they're big. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have our hands full. But Coach Gunn put together a good plan, and we just got to trust it, execute it. I want to take you back about 18 months. About 18 months ago, teams around the country were recruiting you. weren't really sure if you were a receiver or a defensive back. And then you come into Clemson, you settle at safety, and you end up being a freshman All-American at that position. Um, what does it say to you about the fact that you were able to kind of come in and find your ground so quickly and have the success that you had in your first year? Uh, first off, all glory to God. You know, he gave me the ability, gave me the work ethic, and I felt like he really led me to the choice to come to Clemson and just trust the defensive back. But also. I got to give uh, props to Coach Khan because he knew I hadn't played no uh, safety. I was really just a corner coming out of high school. And he just said he was going to trust his coaching and uh, trust the guys here. So uh, props to him, props to guys like RJ, JP, even guys who are here like Coops, Tyler Venables, just guys who uh, mentored me and helped me kind of grow into it uh, faster than I probably normally would. So coming back for year two, got a little bit of an early Christmas grift and uh, RJ Mickens coming back for another season here at Clemson. What does he mean to you and how much has he helped you in your journey? Uh, that's for sure one of my brothers. When I came, we was talking about uh, how a year ago, when I came to my first practice, me and Shell was on scout team going against him. And he was like, Coach Khan, he going to be a phenom. And I was like, you were, you were just chat, But he said he called it. But now he's my brother. I'm glad he's coming back for another year. want to try to get him a chip next year. But um, always fun and I enjoy playing with him. I mentioned you're a freshman All-American honors, but you're one of four true freshmen who earned those honors from various outlets here with TJ and, and Peter and Tyler. Um, what has it meant for your class as a whole to have the kind of success that you had early? I mean, this is what we set them to do. If you watch basically all of our interviews after commitment or even when we first got here, we said we had a class who's going to put our head down and work and try to get on that field however we can. Obviously, we didn't set the expectations of freshman All-American for us. Like, we were just trying to help the team however we could, but it's God's blessing and his uh, path for us to be able to do it. And I, I'm with them guys every day. I see them work, and they earned it. There's, nothing, there's no luck. So. Appreciate you, Khalil. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.